Hi, I'm Kate Zaremba, and I'm going to show you how to color block a wall. You can bring your friends. The first step is to plan the layout of our paint colors. So I have my paint chips here. I've just picked a collection of colors that I love. We need to create six spaces. And then I'm gonna continue that line onto the second wall, but I'm not gonna draw a straight line. I'm gonna go upwards here. Let's create a little triangle down here. And then I'm gonna continue that line straight across that second wall. Okay, that looks pretty good. This is really the most fun part. So we'll just Throw some down. I like to balance out neutrals, brights, and darker colors, but it really doesn't matter. Okay, I think that looks great. Let's tape it up. Okay, the next step is to take our plans and get them mapped out onto the wall. We'll take our sketch and just place it right up here as a little map for us to follow. We're just gonna freehand the tape. We're not gonna measure it out. We're just gonna try and do it exactly as we sketched it out in the drawing. And if it's a little off, that's okay. We have angled lines and straight lines. Now we're gonna take our paint chips and we're gonna just tape them up into the places that they go so that when we get all of our paint out, we don't accidentally paint the wrong color in the wrong space. So I'm just applying one coat. We will be edging the paint with brushes and we wanna make sure we just have one coat on there when we do that. Kind of being careful here, but we really can go over the edge of the tape. Now I'm gonna fill in these little spaces with a brush. These shorter paint brushes are really great for edging. You have a lot of control. Okay, we have our first coat on, and we're gonna move on to a second color. And some of these colors will go on thicker than others but make sure you still do only one coat to start. And I've just noticed that I forgot to put tape right here. I'm gonna add that in. I wanna make sure that the paint from this side doesn't get on the second wall. I'm gonna go in with a brush now, and you'll see here that I've actually put a line of tape on the floor to make sure that I can get really close to the to the bottom edge. Now let's get started with peach. So we have the first coat of all of our colors up and we're going to peel off the first piece of tape. This is really the most exciting part. We're ready to peel off the tape up here because the pink has dried and we're going to edge the yellow up to the pink line. And I like these short brushes because you have more control over where the paint is going. Another benefit of this brush is that you can really hold it so I can get up really close and it gives me a lot of control. 
So I've just peeled off the tape that was against the second wall. What I'm gonna do here is demonstrate that you can also paint over dry tape. Okay, now you're gonna repeat exactly what we did here on your back wall. Once everything is dry, go back through, re-tape, and add your second coats. Then you're done. Turn the bass up. Girl, pick your face up. You can bring your friends. Color blocking is something you can do in a day, yet it radically changes the look and feel of a room. And really, who can't use more color in their life? You can even choose a more monochromatic palette if that's what makes you feel good. So get to the paint store, pick out some of your favorite colors, and get blocking.